What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 15 beta 6 to registered developers just one week after the release of beta 5, just as we predicted last week. And for public beta testers, you should be seeing beta 6 within the next 24 hours. And I will, of course, keep you posted on Twitter when that does get released. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15 beta 6 and tvOS 15 beta 6. And just like last week, with beta 5, we did not yet get watchOS 8 beta 6 or macOS Monterey beta 6 yet, but those should be out pretty soon. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 15 beta 6. So let's go ahead and jump into this, starting off with the size of the update. And you can see here, it came in at 860.5 megabytes on my 12 Pro Max, but that size, of course, will vary depending on your device and the version you are coming from. So let's go ahead and check out the build for this sixth beta, the build number. Let's go to our settings, general about 15. You can see there the new build number is 19A5325F. So we are still on an F build right there, which indicates of course that we do have at least a few more betas to go as expected. And if we go down to the modem, you can see we did also get an update there for the modem firmware. It's now 2.09.10. So if you're having issues related to the modem, those could very well be fixed here in this sixth beta. So now let's go ahead and talk about what is new here in beta six. And there's actually a pretty major change here that we're gonna talk about right away, and that is inside of Safari. So right away, when you open up Safari, you're going to be able to tell a difference with this bottom bar. Of course, Safari overall is one of the biggest changes in iOS 15. So Apple, as expected, is going to keep going back and forth on the changes until they get it right. So you can see here beta five on the left, beta six over here on the right. So you can see how the bottom toolbar is attached now to the address bar down here. So when you scroll, it looks the same, but when you swipe up, and of course, when you first go into Safari, you will see the big difference right there. We do also have the bookmarks now accessible from the bottom, whereas before we were not able to access that. Now with this bottom bar, you still can go in and out of tabs like this. You can still navigate through tabs with that new design. It doesn't change anything there. But one of the biggest differences here in the sixth beta is that you can actually revert this address bar back to the top like we had in iOS 14. So if we go into our settings here, and then let's go back to the Safari settings. So if we go down to Safari right here, and we go down, you can see we have a whole new section here called tabs, and it shows tab bar or single tab. So now you get the option and the flexibility to either stick with the new design in iOS 15 or revert back to the original single tab design like we have in iOS 14. So if I tap on that and then go back to Safari, you can see it looks like we're on iOS 14 now. So of course you can still swipe up to refresh even when you change the top bar or the address bar position, but you can see here, it looks a lot like iOS 14 and like it did in the past. So we have all these down here, just like we did previously. So now you get the option to go back if you want to, which is nice that Apple is giving us the flexibility to you know choose what we want and not just force it on us. And in beta five, you can see that this is what the tabs section of the Safari settings look like. So a drastic difference. And we also have a couple of additional options here as well. So we also have landscape tab bar right here. So what this is, is if we go into landscape mode, when we go into Safari, let's go into landscape right here, you can see up top, we have the tabs right there. We have the tab view of all of our tabs that are opened, but you can disable that if you want to. So if I go into here and then disable landscape tab bar, and then go back to Safari and put it in landscape, you can see that we no longer have the tab bar right there. We actually have to go into our windows to see our open tabs. So that is interesting that you can change that as well. I personally like the tab bar, but you can disable that if you want to. And then also we have allow website tinting. So that is not a new feature that was actually down here at the bottom on previous betas under accessibility inside of Safari. It said show color and top and bottom bars, but now it just says allow website tinting. So they kind of changed the name of that and where it is inside of the settings. So you can now turn that on or off right here in the tabs section in Safari. So some pretty drastic changes to Safari here in beta six, and I actually like them. So I like the bottom tab bar, but I also like the fact that we now have access to the toolbar down here as well. So I think this is a step in the right direction for Apple. We also have a change when we haptic press on the address bar. So you can see that now we have voice search. I don't believe that was ever an option in previous betas, and it wasn't of course here on beta five either. And then we also have move to tab group right there, which was not 
here in beta 5 when we have to press on the address bar and then also when we tap on the address bar like this you could see that the voice search and the x button are flip-flopped so they're changed around in order here on beta 6 they also appear to be darker than they were on beta 5. now the next change in beta 6 is going to be very disappointing for a lot of people especially if you use facetime so the brand new share play feature that was in ios 15 at betas 1 through 5 has been removed here in beta 6 and it looks like apple says that this is no longer going to be in the initial release of ios 15 in general even when it gets released to the public so it looks like we're not going to have the share play feature as you can see here i'm in facetime and it doesn't show up there versus previous betas it would show the share play icon right up there you could share your screen and things like that well now it appears that apple is not going to include this feature in ios 15 when it gets released to the public so it might be saved for like an ios 15.1 or ios 15.2 something like that and they mentioned this in the release notes that it's not going to be in the initial release this fall so pretty disappointing but if that's what it takes to fix the bugs and get it you know perfect then i'm okay with that now we also have a change to the focus modes on the lock screen so this is actually in beta 5 but i just didn't cover it but if we go ahead and tap on our focus mode right here and turn it off you will see that it stays on the lock screen so you could turn it on you can revert back to that quickly but when it goes to sleep and wakes back up you can see it's gone so apple actually gives you the chance to you know re-enable that focus mode if you want to if you accidentally press it or something like that so just a very minor change there on the lock screen also in beta 6 we have a bug fix for the safari video player so in beta 5 a lot of people had issues playing videos inside of safari like with the default video player it would just be all black but that has been fixed here in beta 6. we also have a very minor change here inside of our accessibility settings if we go to accessibility and then to voiceover and then down to quick settings you will notice that the quick settings are no longer in alphabetical order so i'm not sure if this is a bug or just a feature based on what you use the most but it looks like these quick settings are no longer in alphabetical order like they were on previous versions now as far as bug fixes go the release notes mention a lot of known issues but not a lot of fixes just kind of workarounds for some of those issues however i did test out the notification sounds here in beta 6 and it seems like the bug that was impacting applications like snapchat and espn has been fixed so i sent myself a lot of snaps to test out the sounds and it looks like that's finally fixed here in beta 6 but aside from that apple doesn't really mention any other bug fixes that have been resolved here in the sixth beta so i would expect still some bugs remaining although beta 5 really didn't have a ton of bugs i mean beta 5 overall was a great beta release so there is one bug I actually noticed here in beta 6 specifically so if we go into the focus right here and then into one of our focus modes and then down to like focus status right here you will see that this is just kind of overlapping right there and it doesn't fix i tried force closing out of the settings app and it stays like that for all of these for home screen for lock screen focus status all of these just show the overlapping text right there so that's a very minor bug that i'm sure will get fixed but it was something that i just noticed here in beta 6. but as far as kind of remaining bugs that were there in beta 5 twitter crashing i'm assuming that that will be fixed pretty soon because of course they are updating the application a lot in the app store and i'm sure you know apple is aware that this is one of the main applications that are crashing you know on their beta versions so i would expect twitter crashing to kind of ease up and eventually just come to a halt and not crash anymore so hopefully we will get that in beta 6 but it's too early to tell same with banking applications banking applications in theory should be getting better as the betas go on but again some may be waiting until it just gets released to the public to update their application it kind of just depends on the app developers at this point for those banking applications now as far as the performance goes performance on beta 5 was really good overall and i'm expecting this beta to improve on that even more and so far it feels good i mean the animations feel great just you know browsing through everything feels great safari feels great i like the flexibility there and i haven't noticed any bugs in this yet so i would expect to see some bugs just because apple is you know kind of going back and forth on this a lot so i would not be surprised to see any bugs or to see some bugs in safari but so far everything feels great and i did also run a geekbench test so if i go ahead and pull up geekbench right here you can see i got a 1604 on the single core and a 3993 on the multi-core so single core is pretty close to what it was in beta 5 multi-core is a little bit lower but then again i did notice that my phone was more hot this time after installing the update than it was 
with beta 5 but you know still pretty good results overall here with geekbench and as far as battery life goes battery life on beta 5 was so much better than it had been on any other version of ios 15 so far so that leads me to believe that battery life will be just as good if not better here on beta 6. so i will report back to you guys in this weekend's follow-up video if the battery life is better if it's the same if it's worse i will let you guys know then because of course it's too early to tell now if it's any better although i will say that in my ios 15 beta 5 what's new video i pretty much called it in that video that battery life is going to be better because my phone stayed at 100 percent like the entire time and so so far my phone has stayed around 78 79 percent the whole time so it seems like it might be just the same as it was in beta 5 but again i'll let you know for sure this weekend all right so now what is next for apple so just as we predicted in last weekend's follow-up video we switched over to a weekly release schedule for ios 15 so that means that beta 7 should be coming next week as well so we should be getting a new beta every single week leading up to the final release of ios 15 sometime in september most likely mid to late september so next week most likely on tuesday or wednesday the 24th of the 25th is when we should see ios 15 beta 7. so again this is usually when we see a lot of bug fixes and enhancements to the performance and the battery life we're not going to see too many features again i would expect some changes to safari just until it gets perfect and once they take in all of that you know information and feedback they will probably change this again but aside from safari there's really probably not going to be too many new features added now that we're on a weekly release schedule and i did also want to mention ios 14.8 because i think that could be coming soon as well like i've been mentioning for the past few weeks especially since many users on 14.7.1 have recently been reporting issues with cell connectivity so ios 14.8 could be in beta but since there's this issue with cell connectivity at the same time it could just be a you know release a public release right off the bat so it depends on if we see a 14.7.2 or not so it's really hard to tell but we could see that as soon as you know next week or maybe even this week as well i would not be surprised to see 14.8 get released sometime this week but it's hard to tell i will keep you guys updated on twitter though if that does get released but anyways guys there you have it that is ios 15 beta 6 some nice changes to safari let me know what you guys think about these changes as well down there in those comments below but if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and of course make sure you subscribe for my follow-up video coming this weekend and my beta 7 coverage next week so anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon